Standard and my school name is Sanadi International School in Siddhapur. Oh, it is hot. How did they feel it? Yes, it is because of nervous system. Let's come on. Today we will learn about nervous system. Nervous system is the most important system in our body. All the activities we do like singing, reading, dancing, writing, balancing our body, etc. All the sense organs under the control of our nervous system. The nervous system in the sense organs are eyes, ears, nose, tongue and skin. In the brain, in the nervous system, there are three main parts. First one brain, second one spinal cord and third one is nerves. First one is brain. Brain. Next one is spinal cord. Spinal cord. And third one is nerves. Next, I am telling about the nervous system. In the nervous system, there are three main parts. First one, brain. Second one, spinal cord. And third one is nerves. And next, I am telling about the brain. I am telling about the brain. Brain is the most important part of our nervous system. It controls our uh, informations and when it is needed for us. This is called memory. And in the brain there are three main parts. First one cerebrum, second one cerebellum and third one is medulla or brain stem. First one cerebrum. And next part is cerebellum. This one is cerebellum. And this one is medulla or brainstem. This one is brainstem. And first we will learn about the Cerebrum. Cerebrum is the very important and largest part of our brain. It controls our sense organs like eyes, ears, nose, tongue, skin. And if the cerebrum is inactive, we are not able to hear, we are not able to see, we are not able to smell, we are not able to think, think properly, we are not able to do anything. Cerebrum is the most important part of our brain. Brain. And it helps us to do different kinds of problems, understand the meanings of words and this one is functions of cerebrum. And this one is cerebellum. It is the smallest part of our brain. It is just below the cerebrum. It helps us to move the muscles. I am moving like this my hands with the help of my cerebrum. And it helps us to balance our body. If the cerebrum is inactive, we are not able to balance our body. We will simply fall on the drum. This one function of our cerebellum. And this one is brain stem. It helps us to, it controls our actions like heartbeat, sneezing and breathing. Brain stem works at day and night. Cerebrum and cerebellum works at day. This one is function of our brain in the brain, there are three main parts. First one, cerebrum. Second one, cerebellum. And third one is brain stem. I am telling about the nerves. Our nerves has network of nerves. It sends sense organs to the brain. And brain sends the order to different parts of our body. In the nerves, there are three main parts. First one, sensory nerves. And second one, motor nerves. And third one is major nerves. First we will study about sensory nerve. Sensory nerves means it sends organ sends to the message to the brain. It, it sends to the brain. It is called sensory nerves. And second one is motor nerves. 
brain sends to the order to different parts of our body is called motor nerves. And next third one is mixed nerves. Sends are on sends message to the brain and brain sends order to different parts of our body is called mixed nerves. Today I am telling, I am giving you one example. First, I am giving you one example. I am, I am, I am touching hot water. I am, I am taking back my hand. Why? It, it feeling hot and sends organ sends message to the brain. It processing and brain sends to the order to different parts of the body. And that's why I am taking back my hand. Then. And last part is spinal cord. It is a bunch of nerves. You can see this one is the spinal cord. It is a bunch of nerves. It starts from medulla to it ends at low backbone. And it is a set of bones called vertebrae column. How the ribcage protects heart and lungs like spinal cord protects the vertebrae column. And I finished the chapter, the nervous system. Thank you.